in the top 10. Brad, of course, looking for a rebound coming off his worst finish of the year last week. But right now, he's also saying he feels like he has better drive off than the others around him. And he got us good this weekend. His team, RFK Racing, sent out a tweet with a photo that said Carl Edwards would drive some races for <laughs> RFK Racing this year in the Cup Series in the number 60. And we all went, wow, that's great. And then that evening looked at Twitter again. April 1st was the date of the tweet. That's Betty. why I stayed off Twitter yesterday. <laughs> Good run for Brad in sixth. I think Reddick's got a problem on the outside. Saw him slide way up the racetrack right in front of that last group. They're very, very loose. Denny Hamlin, four laps to go uh, in the stage, and he lacks six tenths of a second of getting to his teammate Christopher Bell for the lead. Good thing for Josh Berry in that nine. We've been documenting his journey in this stage. He just drove by Christopher Bell in the 20. That puts him back on the lead lap. So that strategy worked well. At least for staying on the lead lap, absolutely. Because we only have 19 cars on the lead lap. He is well up above where he would have run, uh, we predict, on the same strategy as everybody else. And Chris Busher, the other driver on the alternate strategy, has gone two laps down. I think he gets he gets to his outside, he may have a chance. Bell's not going to let him, though. You see Bell move up, give him that inside. That's exactly what I would do. See? And now he can't keep the car underneath him. He gets loose and drive off from him. That's textbook Richmond racing right there. Bell slides up, though. Got a little loose there. You're going to see big run coming off. Will they go under him or try to get to his outside? There will be lapped cars ahead before the end of this stage for the leaders. Hamlin to the bottom. Got that thing rotated. He's just getting it rotated and able to put the throttle down so much earlier than Bell can. See his discipline getting into the corner, though. Lifted early. Gets the car rotated, and he's going to get clear here. Yeah, Clint, that tells me how good that car is. You mentioned it in three and four. He was able to turn that thing down. A lot of times it'll snap loose, but he was able to still get that good drive off the corner. Well, on the flip side of that, look at uh, Bell. Bell was still waiting on his car to rotate. The front end was not turning for him tight. William Byron third, a second and a half back. Truex fourth, Chastain fifth. Three Toyotas, two Chevys in the top five here on the final lap of stage two. Very impressed with Denny being able to overcome that speeding penalty on pit road, get back and win this stage. Pretty impressive. Hard to believe, but it is the first stage win for a Joe Gibbs Toyota this season.